friends, and welcome back to Book Nook's online story time. Today we'll be reading Mirabelle's Missing Valentines by Janet Lawler, illustrated by Olivia Chin Mueller. Mirabelle was very shy. She'd always been that way. She trembled at the thought of giving Valentines away. Despite her nerves, the night before, she crafted works of art. She signed the cards from Mirabelle. On each, she drew a heart. Have you ever made Valentines like Mirabelle? She's working really hard to make them very special. When morning came, she got up late. She didn't want to go. She dawdled over breakfast. Her whole routine was slow. She forced herself to leave for school and hurried down the road. Not noticing as time went on, she had a lighter load. Uh-oh. Is a valentine falling out of her backpack? A lonely lady looked inside her empty mailbox twice. But after Mirabelle went by, she smiled and thought, how nice. Construction workers sweating as they dug around a pole laughed to find a sweet surprise half buried in the hole. Uh-oh. Looks like her valentines are flying out of her backpack and into the road. A busy papa waiting for the light to change to walk danced around in circles when he heard his baby talk. <gasps> now the baby has a valentine. A jogger on her morning run got stuck in gooey gum. Something sparkled by her foot that made her start to hum. She found a valentine too. A garbage man enduring yet another rotten smell chuckled as he grabbed a scrap before the scooper fell. Then everybody heard a cry, I've lost my valentines! And so it dawned on each of them, perhaps this isn't mine. They hurried up to Mirabelle, your cards have made us smile. Thanks for sharing them with us, if only for a while. Mirabelle was happy that she'd brightened up their day. Now she'd made a few new friends. Perhaps she'd be okay. That afternoon at party time, she joined in all the fun. She traded cards with courage and she beamed when it was done. Look at that. She was so nervous to give valentines out before. I think that she's having a lot of fun. It looks like her friends are really liking the valentines too. Skipping home when school let out, she paused atop the hill and realized to her delight, her sack was fuller still. Her friends gave her a lot of valentines to carry home for herself. Looks like a really nice day in the forest. Happy Valentine's Day. The end.